Welcome back, and uh, today I'm starting a new series on Google Maps uh, API in Android. It's something that I've been using a lot for work lately, um, so I've learned a lot about it, and I figured this is a good chance to kind of start making some videos again and start teaching people some new stuff. Um, so yeah, this, this video is just going to be a setup video, getting, getting everything ready um, so that we can put a map on the screen. That's what we'll do in this tutorial, is we'll put a map on the, on the screen. Um, of, of the emulator and uh, yeah so here we go first thing we need to do is get an API key um, I'll put these links in the description of the video but basically we go here and press get started and what an API key does for those of you who aren't familiar with it is um, it's a way for a company like Google to keep track of who's using their API's and how much so they can charge you if you end up using too much. Um, but the limit for for Google Maps is like 100,000 loads per month. So for some simple test apps, you won't get charged anything. It won't be a big deal. Uh, so just select Maps and press Continue. And then just wait for this to load. Sometimes it takes a little while. And then we need to create a project. I've already created a few, but I'll just create a new one and just name it something like, I'll name this YouTube Maps. You can name it Maps Project or Basically, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just for yourself, so you can distinguish between between different projects and different API keys, and keep track of analytics for those projects. Um, for for something like this, it doesn't really matter, but but yeah. So just press set account. Um, you might have to put in some credit card information, but as long as you don't go over the limits, it shouldn't be there shouldn't be any issues with um, with charges on your account or anything like that. So just keep pressing next. Um, now I think this screen shows your API key. So that's something you're going to want to just copy. And I'm going to delete this API key after the video uh, is over. So don't try to <laughs> use it. It won't work. Um, I don't want <laughs> people using my API key so that I get a bunch of charges in my account. So I'm just going to delete it after this video is over. Um, yeah. So now that we have the API key, we can start making our Android project. So uh, just go to Android Studio, I'm assuming you all have used it before, um, and just create a new project. Um, I'll just call this Maps Project, and press Next. Uh, we'll do, um, we'll just do phone and tablet, so that's fine, and then just do empty activity. You can do a Google Maps activity and that will handle everything for you, but the purpose of this video is to show you how to get set up and why everything goes where, so, why everything goes where it is. So we're, we're just gonna go through it manually. And then you can name your activity something like uh, Maps Activity. Yep. And then press Finish, and Android Studio should do a bunch of stuff and start building Gradle or whatnot. Um, yeah, so, so while we're waiting, uh, let's look at what we have to do next. To set up the API key, we need to just add this little metadata uh, metadata thing. Um, but I'm not going to do that yet because I need to I need to save my API key. Yeah. So sometimes uh, Android Studio takes a while, you know. Um, to kind of build all the Gradle dependencies and get that all set up. So apologize for the delay in this video. It's should be over. Here we go. Okay. So now that we have Android Studio open, it's going to index all our files, and that again takes some more time, but at least we can get uh, started here. Maybe. Cool. So first thing first, we need to add our API key to our project. Uh, just ignore these errors. It's just because Android is just, um, or Gradle is still building and stuff and indexing, so it doesn't really realize stuff. I'm just going to paste my API key in here so we don't lose it. Okay, and then go back to the browser and grab this whole metadata uh, tag here, and then 
we're going to copy that in and make sure that you put it inside the activity um, the activity tags and then replace this API key here with this okay great now what do we need to do now we need to add a map fragment to our layout so navigate to the activity maps layout XML file and open that up and we're going to go to the text here and then we can delete this text view we don't really want that but what we do want is we want a fragment okay and we can make the width and height match parent and then we also want um, some sort of ID for the fragment and plus ID and we can call this fragment map or something along those lines. You can call whatever you want. That's entirely up to you. Um, so yeah, there's going to be one more thing we're going to add in here to let um, Android know that this is, in fact, a fragment. It's, it's, a, it's a support map fragment is what it's called. Um, but I don't remember exactly what the class name is. So we'll do that in a minute. Basically, what we're going to do here is just grab that support map fragment. Oh, one quick thing before that. If we go back to the browser, I'll post this link as well. There's a setup Google Play services link, and under here is all of the Gradle dependency for all of the Google Play services. And you can see that Google Maps is one of those. So we'll just grab this link here and head back to um, head back to Android Studio and go to your your app uh, Gradle file, not the project, but the app, and then type just under here under these implementations. Um, implementation and then just paste in that one and we'll sync again so that Gradle will build and download what it needs to um, to be able to run Google Maps. Okay and now that that is almost done <laughs> I'll head back to this Maps activity and once this Gradle build finishes, we should be able to uh, start start uh, building our fragment for maps. Okay, cool. That's all built. So now we can create a new object in here. We'll call it a support map fragment. Uh, that's that's just the fragment that is used for for mapping, and we can call it map fragment. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cast a support map fragment um, to just we're going to use the get support fragment manager and with that fragment manager we can find our fragment which we called uh, fragment map I believe yes and then we need to cast it to a support map fragment so that we can call the necessary methods for uh, for map fragments now the one method we need to call is it is called get map async so basically what this is going to do is um, an asynchronous task which is going to run in the background, so we'll just on another thread, and then once uh, once the map async task is over and the map has loaded, it will call another function so that we can start doing things, but so that we don't do things before the map has actually been loaded, because we don't want to try to add things to the map before it's been loaded. Otherwise, you know, there would there would be null pointer exceptions and things like that. So now what we need to do is take this maps activity and say implements. Uh, on map ready callback. So what we're doing is basically saying that this class here is going to implement the interface on map ready callback um, so that when we do oh yeah and just implement the, the method by doing alt enter on the error on the error bar. Um, basically what we're doing when we pass this is we're saying okay once the once the fragment is ready uh, once the map is ready we call um, the on map ready function that is defined in this class. So here's where we can do things to our map to kind of uh, to, to, to add things to the map and, and, and whatnot. So now just one last thing that we need to do is grab this uh, right here. This is just the class we need to put um, on our fragment just so we can let Android know what kind of fragment it is. All right, I think that's everything. So let's try running this. Um, I'm going to run it on a device that I already have running. And yeah, so 
you might need to create a new emulator if you have not done that before. Um, and if so, sometimes Google Play services are not updated on the Mac or updated on the device. So they might say something like, Google Play or this app will not run until Google Play services have been updated. And there will be a big update button on the top. If you just press that and sign into your Google account, um, you can go to the Google Play Store and update your Google Play services so that the maps will actually work and um, otherwise it'll just be a blank screen and it won't it won't really work too well. So we're just waiting now for this uh, Gradle to build. It's one of the problems with with uh, with Android is that Gradle takes a long time to build, um, which makes it hard for videos sometimes. But hope you guys will be patient with me. So it should be running soon. And there we go. Okay, error, nice. Let's find out what we did wrong. Okay, so it's saying that the API key is not found. Um, let's go back to the Android manifest and check this out. Ah, that's why. We don't actually want it to be in the activity. We want it to be in the application. I, I uh, misspoke earlier. So put that in the application, and that should now register that uh, the, the Google Maps API key uh, should be there. So now we'll wait again for Gradle to build. Again, I apologize for the error. I was hoping that this would uh, <laughs> go through smoothly with no errors, but that's not always uh, reality when it comes to live coding. Um, so we just run this, and you can see that uh, we have a loaded map. and. Yeah, so you can move it around. You can, if you do a command shift on the emulator, it allows you to do a sort of a pinching motion. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so next video we'll come back and build off of this and start working with some things that we can add to the map, like like lines and markers and things like that. Um, so yeah, thanks thanks guys for watching. Um, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you want to, and Put any comments that you have, any questions that you have, um, any suggestions that you have in the comments section of this video. So thank you guys for watching.